standard procedure. She bad with the features. She bad, that's a misdemeanor. Sick with it, I might catch a fever. Hello guys, welcome to Box and Block Center Dome of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Well, uh, 10 years ago, Anthony Joshua made his professional boxing debut today. And of course, Joshua has since fought Vladimir Klitschko. Alexander Usyk twice, Alexander Povetkin, Andy Ruiz Jr. twice, Joseph Parker, Dylan White, Kubrick Pulev, Robert Alinius, and of course, Franklin. Oh me, of course. Um, yeah, he did a great job with um, against. Now, how do I wanna like listen, <clears throat> Joshua? Joshua's resume, um, resume is very impressive. I think he has the best resume in uh, in the Evo division. Let's keep it real. You might hate Joshua, you might dislike the guy, you might call him names, but the facts are this guy. When it comes to fighting, he doesn't dirk anyone. Joshua still got fury and want to fight. That will make it complete. Like. In as much as Fury is seen as the top dog right now, even though I don't agree, because Fury sells the fight, the fight, the, you know, he chooses. Okay, so this guy, Fury doesn't really take fights that he knows he would lose. Okay, the Usyk one, I think, because he saw Usyk's um um last performance. Uh, against the Dubois and he wasn't impressed and thought okay this guy is vulnerable to the body I'm gonna go there so Fury already know what to do against Usyk that's why he's taking this fight right now but I still believe that he's gonna have a hard time against Usyk because Usyk is a mover like him you know Usyk is not a stand guy he's not a stand steer guy he's not a guy uh, Fury can um have you know his day with and just do whatever he wants and it's not gonna be a tactic there he's gonna be a movable object okay that's the thing Joshua's resume, resume is very impressive you know let's keep it right here on the on October 5th 2013 he made his professional debut okay against Emanuela Leo and then he fought Paul Bodley I know of course these guys you know the rankings you can tell Emanuel Leo was undefeated anyway so again Emmanuel Leo undefeated guy bro who does that who makes their like look at the, the greats even the every greats a lot of them made their pro debut against total bombs okay Joshua made his pro debut against I don't defeat a fighter. You might not read him, but still on defeat a fighter when you try me as pro debut. So then he fought Paul Bodlin, Hedge L Helvoyel, Kizzy Kizzy Dorian Dutch, we all know that guy. Hector Fredo, Matt Leg, Matt Skelton, Costanti Irish, Dennis Baktov, Mike is Proud, Jason Given. Rafael Zumbano, Kevin Johnson. I think Joshua's um, first test came against Kevin Johnson because I was really, I watched the fight. I was really curious to see how Joshua deals with a guy like that. Tricky. Um, at that time, Kevin Johnson hadn't been stopped by anybody. Joshua is the first guy to stop Kevin Johnson. Gary Cornish, who was undefeated, he was twenty-one and zero when he fought him. Joshua stopped him. Okay. Uh, Dillian White, Joshua stopped him in round 7 and then Charles Martin, he became the IBF every world champion uh, then defending his title against Dominic Brazil, Eric, Mol uh, for Eric Molina then went against Vladimir Klitschko to unify you know, the WBA 
an IBO, okay? That was vacant, okay? And uh, stopped Klitschko. Fought Carlos Takam. Um, uh, well, it was a TKO, definitely. Of course, people why we put it to question, but still, it was a TKO. Then fought Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker was undefeated, hungry, young. Uh, just uh, got, got the win. Fought Povetkin, got the win by TKO, and then he lost to Ruiz 2019. This is where the Joshua, the, like, let's say the, I don't say fourth, Joshua, but the, the tribulations, tribulations came, this is where it all came about, you know, the, the Ruiz Jr. loss gave Joshua a very lack of self-confidence, like, he, he like, started lacking confidence in himself, he started doing things different, it is where we are right now. It is hard, but I believe Joshua can still get it back. Can still get that back. And then, he, of course, he, he got the win over Andrews Jr., then knocked out Kubra Pulev, then Usyk lost game back to back. Back to back versus to Usyk. And now he's on to win. Listen, Joshua still has a lot to give. You know, at the age of 33, he still has a lot to give, a lot to give boxing. And I believe you will, will make it. I just can't believe it. Like he's all, he's ten years now. Wow, man! Can you believe it? Just, it was just like yesterday. It felt. It feels like yesterday. It just feel like that. It's very crazy, bro. Just was next fight. We don't know who's gonna be against, but our fight is being negotiated. Um. Uh, between him and uh, Deontay Wilder, and then. But we all know that uh, the Saudi, uh, the new Saudi, the new Saudi head of sports, um, is kind of uh, not like um, you know is, is very focused on the Fury Usyk on the spirit clash, and of course the Frasigano fight. I think they are underestimating Frasigano. Though I think Frasigano will will put a shocker in for them. I think Frasigano will put a shocker in against uh, Fury. He would do something maybe Fury didn't, doesn't, don't expect because I don't think you, are, you should announce a fight or because you think your, op your, fear, your opponent doesn't, doesn't, pose, doesn't pose a threat, <sighs> which I think is very wise. Okay. You, go, you get, you usually announce fi uh, things like that after a fight. But we'll see how it plays out, guys. If it's just below, like the video, share, subscribe. Um, Yeah. What do you, who would you guys like to see at Joshua fight next? Uh, do you think Joshua still got it? Do you think he'll go, he will, he will, he will, he will return back to his peak? Um, I mean, still, I don't think Joshua has reached his peak yet. Okay, I don't think he's even reached his peak. I think this, this time, this time right now, what is going through right now is just part of the game, part of what you have to go through as a fighter to rediscover yourself. So, uh, wait the new Joshua differently, and it's gonna be interesting. Silver Master, but I go with the Silver Summer Channel. Cheers.